of this attack as the gentleman. And Lisa as Gertrude and Andrew Bainham as Claudius. Carly Trotta as Laertes. And Kathleen the Babe as Ophelia. She speaks much of her father, says she hears there's tricks in the world, and hems and beats her heart, spurns enviously at straws, speaks things in doubt that carry but half sense. Her speech is nothing yet the unshaped use of it doth move the hearers to collection. They aim at it, and botch the words up to fit their own thoughts, which, as her winks and nods and gestures yield them, indeed would make one think there might be thought. Though nothing sure yet, yet much unhappily. They bore him barefaced on the bier, and in his grave raved many a tear. There you are, my dove. O oh, heat, dry up my brains. Tears seven times salt, burn out the sense and virtue of mine eye. By heaven, thy madness shall be paid with weight, till our scale turn the beam. O oh, rose of May. Dear maid, kind sister, sweet Ophelia, O oh, heavens, is it possible a young maid's wits should be as mortal as an old man's life? Nature is fine in love, and where tis fine, it sends some precious instance of itself after the thing it loves. Hadst thou thy wits, and didst persuade revenge, it could not move thus. You must sing, Adown, Adown, when you call him, Adown, -a. oh, how the wheel becomes it. It is the false steward that stole his master's daughter. This nothing's more the matter. There's Rosemary, that's for remembrance. Pray you, love, remember. And there's pansies, that's for thought. A document in madness, thoughts and remembrance fitted. There's fennel for you and columbines. There's rue for you, and here's some for me. We may call it herb of grace, a Sunday's. You must wear your rue with the difference. There's a daisy, I will give you some violets. <laughs> but they withered all when my father died. They say I made a good end. For bonny sweet Robin is all my joy. Thought and affliction, passion, hell itself, she turns to favor and prettiness. And will he not come again? And will he not come again? No, no, he is dead. Go who lie deathbed. He never will come again. His beard was as white as snow, or flaxen was his pole. He is gone, he is gone, and we cast away moan. God of mercy on his soul. And of all Christian souls. God by you. <laughs> Do you see this? God. Laertes, I must commune with your grief, or do you deny me right? But go, apart, make choice of whom your wisest friends you will, and they shall hear and judge. Twixt you and me, if by direct or by collateral hand, they find us touched, we will our kingdom give, our crown, our life, and all that we can ours, to you in satisfaction. But if not, be you content to lend your patience to us, and we shall jointly labor with your soul to give it due content. Let this be so, his means of death, his obscure funeral, no trophy, sword, no attachment to, over his bones, no noble rite, nor formal ostentation, cry to be heard as t'were from heaven to earth, that I must call it in question. So you shall, and where the offense is, let the great axe fall, I pray you, go with me. <laughs> 